Do the players still believe? Have you had to do a lot of convincing, or do they share your belief? Um, I don't know. I haven't bothered to stop and ask them. I didn't ask them last year whether they believed. I just kept talking at them. Find that the best way. Because they got to do what I say, really. And if I listened to them too much, I'd get fed up and I wouldn't know where we were going. So I tell them what to do. So that's what I've been doing, really. And they clearly still respond. I think so, yeah. I, as I said before, I think we've only just started our football journey. And um, it's gone remarkably well so far. And I think I believe in miracles. I believe in dreams because I'm trying to make them happen. I want to make a difference to everybody at the club. I want to make a difference to everybody in this town. And I want to make, keep making a difference. And hopefully I can do that. I'm fully fit, thank you very much. Are you going to start? No, no. Um, yeah, we've got no problems, to be honest. We've got no problems. So, uh, almost a fully fit squad. There's only Marlon Airwood who really, isn't really fit at the moment. Other than that, there'll be a few bottom lips on board when I pick the team few salts going about because you got fully fit and they all want to play in this game and they all want to help us so but I've told them all they're all as important as one another whoever is disappointed shouldn't show it and helps the team out because I believe that's what's got us here is our very very special attitude and our very very special squad that works so hard for each other and makes up for all sorts of things that we haven't got compared to everyone else and I'd love us to stay up just from, from that alone. But unfortunately, you need a bit more than that. And I want to show the world that we've got that. And in fact, if we can go to Man United and get something, and that's the something that keeps us up, I think that would be the best story that I've ever read or seen or seen unfold. Never mind anything William Shakespeare's written. I think this would be a better one than ever. Sorry? You'll have to believe it if we can pull it off. You'll have to believe it. And it might be a bedtime story where, like a fairy tale. You know, this team, they wore tangerines, really strange colour, and no one fancied them, and everybody kept writing them off, even in the division below, but they got promoted, and then they stayed there. And there you go. Happy ever happy. <laughs> It would be nice, but there's other people who are going to try and stop that and ruin what we got to do and it's who wants it the best and who's equipped the best and I hope it goes to the teams that deserve it the best not some quirk of fate and some horrible mistake or some awful thing that someone does or a referee does that thinks makes you think that you're warped and twisted for the rest of your life you know so I hope it's just the fact that oh dear that wasn't right they weren't quite good enough because they did that and they didn't do this and, and I hope it's not us there you go